hello everybody welcome back to my channel today I am um, going to show you guys how I do my makeup like everyday kind of makeup routine and um, so without further ado let's go on the video so firstly I uh, am doing my like eye makeup and eyebrows first so the eyebrow product that I use is the Morphe eyebrow pomade in the shade latte last night I did actually tint my eyebrows and um, so my eyebrows are a little bit and darker than normal but it'll be all right the eyebrow brush i like to use is the morphe brush in m158 this is a really good eyebrow brush what i like to do is kind of brush my eyebrows out as you can see i need to move this more in the i like to move my eyebrows out like that and then i just I like to line them underneath of the brows so just like on the bottom part of the brow and then i like to go around as you can tell it's a little bit more shaped now as you can tell and then what I like to do I like to like line it out on top as well so it creates like a nice brow shape and what I like to do I like to brush the bottom upwards and do um, brush strokes and um, throughout my brow and this creates like a nice kind of eyebrow look shape obviously eyebrows are sisters and not twins so eyebrows um, will never be even or perfect um so yeah but as you can tell that is my first eyebrow done i will now move on, on to the other eyebrow and then i'll move on to the like eye makeup so now that both my eyebrows are filled in um, what i like to do next is to use my revolution super size concealer in c1 and i like to carve out my eyebrows and also put concealer on my eyelid as well and this creates a like, sharp eyebrow look and a good base for eyeshadow the brush that I, I am using flat eyeshadow brush and um, I actually ordered like a 12 pack of these off eBay and eBay I like eyeshadow brushes are really good but, but what I like to do I like to kind of um, go underneath my eyebrow and just kind of um, line it along and I like to go along the eyebrow like so and also on the eyelid a little bit as well and then what I like to do afterwards I like to get a little bit more of the concealer what I like to do I like to move on the top bit and just carve it out again and just sharpen the eyebrow a bit and it, like, it creates a nicer eyebrow look um, so there we go and then with the excess I just like to um, wipe it along my eyelid and this creates a good base for eyeshadow after my um, concealer is now on my eyelids and around my eyebrows um, I like to move on to eyeshadow so the eyeshadow palette which I'm using is the Morphe 35O palette I have had this for so long and this eyeshadow palette is my favourite but the shade that I like to use try and show you is just this brown one here the brush which I'm using Real Techniques 1 in 3 zero five and it's like the sparkly one i love it so much so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put the eyeshadow just all around my eyelid back and forth and i can also add some more eyeshadow if i feel like i need some more to build up the color after i applied the brown eyeshadow on both of my eyelids and the next shade that i like to use is which way is it this one here go back and forth but i'm more on the eyelid this time and um, to keep building up the colour, just keep on moving it and it'll just build a nice colour on the lid. But after that, I am now going to add some concealer on top, onto my eyelids to kind of create a little bit of a, of a cut crease. So this brush which I'm using is my shadow brush, but I actually like to use this for concealer at the moment. It's really good, I love it. But as you can tell, I don't have much concealer left. So I'm just going, there we go. So what I like to do, I like to put it in the centre of my lid and brush it down and then what I like to do is just kind of blend it outwards a bit but um, also making a bit like of an arch as well while I'm moving it so then it'll just make it look very nice for the glitters that I will be using yes I'm using glitters, I, I am obsessed with glitters um, the peaches and cream like glitter pigments are the best ones in my opinion um, so I can't wait to use them. Use the Peaches and Cream Eyeshadow Primer. So I will actually use this on where the concealer is. So basically go over the concealer. So the brush, which I'm using is just an eBay brush. It's like it's quite flat and it's perfect for getting like the right shape. So I just want to get a little bit on my brush and again start 
cut the middle of the eyelid and kind of move around a bit. Um, so yes, this is going over the concealer. It's time for the glitter. So the glitter which I'm using is Peaches and Cream in Gatsby and I pat it on my eyelid. And this is such a beautiful colour as you can tell. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to pat this all over the concealer and the pigment area. It's su such a beautiful colour. Oh my god, look how stunning that is. How lovely that colour is. Wow, 10 out of 10. Now that my um, glitter has been added, the product which I'm going to use next is this NYX Matte Eyeliner. So I actually want to pull this on my lash line so what I want to do is just kind of well, to put it on my, on my lash line and this is quite an easy step if, if you do know how to do eyeliner but I know that some people can really struggle I just want to put it along my lash line just a little bit it makes it easier to add the eyelashes in my opinion now I'm going to move on to the eyelashes and the eyelashes which I am using is the Tatty Lashes in TL4 these have all have been my favourite lashes since I first ever tried um, tatty lashes, just so lovely, so fluttery, just a lovely um, eye eyelash style. I'll actually show you how to use the eyelash glue. So the eyelash glue that I use is a duo lash glue. I have got this in like the white one and the black one, but today I'm using um, the white one and um, just because I have got eyeshadow the one, so like the, um, the black one is only used if you don't have an, any eye makeup on. But I'm going to use the white one today, and the white one is clear, so I'll say. If, if I do smudge in the eyelash glue, I'll get it on my eyelid, it won't show up anyway. Um, but yeah, but I'm really happy with my eyeshadow look. But anyway, um, so what I like to do is like squeeze a little bit of eyelash glue, put it on um, across the band until you've got an even amount on, on all of the band. Um, so there we go. So what I like to do is wait about 10 seconds and to dry out a little bit and then I will add it on my um, eyelash. As you can tell my eyelashes are all set to go so what I like to do is kind of put it on my eyelash lash line and then I like to hold down on it and say if it is a little bit off you can kind of move it a little bit. I have, as you can tell the eyelash glue is kind of a little bit all over my eyelid but that does happen sometimes from time to time. And it's like to hold it down and if you are and struggling to hold it down a little bit what I like to use is use a like an eyeshadow brush and kind of and then press it down on the eyelash and this will make sure that it gets all glued down but sometimes eyelashes can be very hard to apply and um, because I am filming today my eyelash has decided to um, be a bit difficult so there we go there is my first eyelash I think if it'll want to behave itself and just stay on um, but yeah there we go so now that my beautiful eyelashes have been applied I am now moving on to the face makeup so firstly I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It Primer this is such a lovely primer I'm obsessed with this so I'm just going to put it on my t-zone um, on my cheeks and um, just all over my face and this is such a good primer and leaves like it honestly makes your makeup last all day next I will be using my um, Lock It Foundation again by Kat Von D, honestly, I love Kat Von D makeup. It's one of my favourite makeup brands out there. Um, so what I like to do, I like to just kind of put the foundation on my skin like this. So my cheeks, my chin, my nose, and then on the other side of my face, and then lastly on my forehead. And this foundation has got the best coverage. It's so thick, but such a good like foundation to use. I honestly love it so much. But the foundation brush that I love using at the moment, I actually ordered it the other day, but it's honestly like, it's, I'm obsessed with it now, is the Peaches and Cream PC06 brush. So like it's like a domed foundation brush. I like to brush the foundation down, but as you can tell, the coverage is amazing. And also the shade in this is light 44 cool in this foundation. Um, but this foundation has been my favourite. I think I've had like three of these now, but it's just such a good and amazing foundation. Um, honestly, obsessed with it. Moving on to concealer, the co I can't even speak. Right, try again. The concealer. Well, so after I apply my foundation, I am now moving on to concealer. The concealer that I use is the Revolution Super Size Concealer. So I need to kind of get this out around the edges because I don't know if you know, but concealer is running out. Um, so yeah. So what I like to do, I like to put this on my under eyes because it this is concealer is really good coverage um i'm gonna put it on my other under eye as well 
need to get a bit more product out though because I've obviously got enough, not enough there. Then I like to put it on my chin and my nose and a little bit on my forehead as well. The Real Techniques Beauty Blender and the pink diamond one for, for all of you who are wondering and then I like to use a spray and just kind of soak it a little bit and then what I like to do is just blend it in. Why is the foundation coming off? I don't know why the foundation is coming off, that's very strange. But I don't know why the foundation is coming off as soon as I'm blending this. I might have to use another beauty blender just to change my mind, right? So I'm going to have to use an, an, another beauty blender now because it's obviously not working. So it's like to soak this and kind of dry my hand a bit and this should do the job. Yeah. That is really strange. Anyway. Just keep blending it. Powder that I like to use is this compact powder by um, Pierre Rene, and this is just the trans transparent powder. Even though like it's really dark, but um, because I have fake tanned, I thought this would be alright to just use. So I'm a little bit browner. So I'm just gonna pat this all over my face. Keep adding some powder to make sure that my face is all set. And especially if you have got oily skin like me, you you know that you've got to set your face a lot because otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll be an oily mess and that is not a good look. After I have powdered I'm going to move on to bronzer and I'm using my favourite Mayo Sunkissed Matte Bronzing Powder. So what I like to do is use this brush. I'm sure in I think it was in yesterday's video I think I, I did use this but what I like to do because it's got a bit of an angle I like to hold the brush like this and just put it on my cheekbones and you can tell it's bronzing up my face and also like defining a little bit. And this also smells really nice, this bronzer, I love it so much. And I like to put it on my forehead, just pat it like in my skin a little bit. And this just creates a nice bronzed look, colour effect. This is really nice. Oh my god, it's so sunny now. Wow. After I have bronzed up my face a little bit, I'm going to move on to um, contouring. So I like to use the Kat Von D shade and light palette. This is one of my ultimate favourites. And the brush that I'm using is my Spectrum. Um angled brush in A05 and this is just like a nice angled brush. So the shade that I'm going to be using is the lightest shade in the palette. I'm just going to go like that and make sure that it's all on my brush. <laughs> I have cleaned most of these brushes so they are a bit hard to get the product done at first. Anyway I'm going to hold it like this way and just kind of um, pat it on my um, cheekbone. Why has my face gone dark? Hello? Yeah so I'm, I'm going to kind of move it up a bit like this. There we go, so now my cheekbone is very defined, um, as you can tell it's very, 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 very defined and looks almost a bit too dark, but this, this is because I have a lot of product on, I'm going to do the same on this cheekbone as well. I'm going to put some on my forehead, but not too much because I have already got some bronzer on, but I'm just going to kind of put it on the outskirts of my forehead, smaller brush, put it on my nose, I'm going to go downwards like this, a multitask brush and just blend it down so we want to kind of blend down a little bit because otherwise you'll be brushing the hairs up but sometimes you have to blend up to kind of get the product to blend a little bit why is the camera so dark today i don't know why it's so dark oh my god i look so scary in the camera so after my contours are blended honestly like it looks way worse on the camera than it is in real life i don't know why i actually have a phone call off my sister right now so i'll just be a minute this is going straight to voicemail anyway. Um, so now I'm going to use my Urban Decay highlighter. I, I like to use it in the middle shade for anyone who's wondering. I like to put it on my nose um, like this to give a nice glow. I, I have, I've, I've got a call of my sister now. Hello? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll be there soon. Bye. Basically, she's asked for a lift so. <laughs> I have to be quick with the last part. So next I'm using my Primark um, lip liner in Toast. <laughs> now I've got a phone call off my mum. Everyone wants me. I line my lips. There we go. <laughs> Isn't perfect. I'm using my Peaches and Cream lip gloss in Honey. And I need to get a small brush for this. Yeah, I'm going to squeeze a little bit on my lip on my lip brush I'm going to put it on my lips. So guys this is the end of my video hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!